behaving. Egan. There's there's nothing there. Just said down with Cypher. Okay. Oh, there we go. Dear Nell, hello, this is my first email. I'm sorry I sent an empty message by mistake. Oh, that's so in character. I also apologize for the misspellings. I'm embarrassed by these mistakes and we... Oh. The email text is cut off. I love him. There we go. It... Okay. I think volume it should be okay. So, because if I'm not mistaken, I literally... I went back to go check the video. God, we haven't played this in forever. Um... Yeah, I went back to check the video. The last time I played, I had just finished the thingy thing. And uh, now I gotta go to the island or whatever. I have to go to the port gate and uh, yes, continue from there. What happened? Uh, nah. Just depression, sadness, the usual shtick. So it feels a little lonely and just a little sad because Ryan's at a wedding and I ordered Taco Bell for dinner. So I'm just like, I need a life so but no um realistically I'm fine it's just yeah it's literally just one of those days I was just looking really quick I, I do have to go through the whole building huh <sighs> lame that's one thing I'm forever forever grateful for with uh, newer games is the ability that you you don't need to backtrack you can just quite literally uh, go through the entire thing and there's a loop around hey red how you doing also sorry i've been missing more streams than normal depression <laughs> so realistically that's the answer so as as much as i'm trying to like make light of it it's just life but i'm doing pretty okay otherwise so i'm trying to manage my shit how do i get that one i didn't even realize i missed that one um, I don't care. We're just gonna. But yeah, on to new and interesting things. Um, so it was fun to discover that the game I'm working for. Oh, we've been robbed. Uh, the game I've been working for, they didn't pay attention, I guess, to the uh, reviews on Steam because they didn't notice the game is buggy right now. So I had to like be like, by the way, there's only one review on Steam and uh, apparently it's kind of buggy. And he's like, oh no. <laughs> I'm like, why aren't you guys paying attention? <laughs> so that's fun. Anyway, darn it, give it back, give it back. Give what back? These two weird guys took off with a shadow Pokemon. One had like a mohawk and the other had like a ball. <laughs> darn it, they made off with the last shadow Pokemon that came off the production line before it shut down. Well then. Hello, Mirabi. What game? Oh, um, it's called uh, Tales from the Crossings, the Captain's Chair. It's a mobile game turned um, Steam game. So I kind of came in and they already had an art style and everything. So I've just been like matching what they've got and uh, doing a combination of like, God, uh, kind of everything, honestly. Uh, a combination of uh, characters, environments, uh, level design, um, just a bit of everything, really. I can talk about it because it released on Steam. I probably could have talked about it from the beginning because it wasn't like the game wasn't released, but I'm just more comfortable with it now, I guess, since it's been like a year that I've been working on it, roughly. Or in August, it'll actually be a year that I've been uh, working for the much is weird. It's so weird to think about. Okay, uh, actually, before I get into this boat, I have three super potions, five revives, a leaf stone. Oh god, okay. Well, we're towards end game. So those rare candies, should I just spam them on uh, Umbreon? Because that's what I'm thinking. Um, but there should be a shop over here real quick that I should probably stock up at first. Or nope, that's, that's the Pokemon Center. Unless there's the shop upstairs. 
No, but I've never been up here. I've been on dry land for so long now, I, I'm losing the feel of life on the sea. I've assembled all of my supplies and my Pokemon are restocked to restored to full health, but who knows when the next ship will set sail. Uh, I became a trainer at this age, so I've been coming here daily to learn more about what training involves. But wow, I see that you're already raising Pokemon at your age. I consider that impressive. All right, I'll do my best to keep up with you. Mm, yes, considering this is pretty much boss central. Yeah. So I figure getting some more healing items can't hurt right now. Um, is there no shop in Gaten? I thought there was. Or is it right here? And I'm just stupid. Yep. It's right here. Right next door. Uh, da, 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 da. Hello. I would like to buy things. Oh, oh, honey. Book balls and poker snacks. Thanks, man. Bye. Okay. Well, I have 55,000, which is not a lot in this game. Uh, great ball potion. I don't know if I have enough. I'm just gonna buy five more and call it good. I think I have some ultra balls, but uh, super potions. It's seven of ten of them. So now I have thirteen. No, get two more. I don't like that number. Might want to visit upstairs too, of the shop. Okay. Um, I have just in case. We're gonna grab another five revives. I think that should be good, right? Uh, heals all the status. There's no full restores, huh? Okay. Just in case. I have, In case I'm like running low between battles, I need to make sure they're healed too. Okay. Um, oh, hey, Munchlax. Uh, for a poisoning, use an antidote. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if a Pokemon falls asleep in battle, you can rest by calling it. I've decided to retire from selling herbal medicine. It's become too hard for me to gather the ingredients. You see, it's not an easy task. Working one's way through the tall grass, searching on rocks, and uh, so on. It's too physically taxing for me. Is that it? Aw. You were so good at that, though. Oh, well. Anything else? I guess not. Does she not sell the herbs? I guess not. She said she's retiring, so... Oh. Maybe she would have if I came earlier in game? But I have no idea. Okay. We are going to save right here. Yes. Well, fuck. Maybe. It's fine. I have 20 super potions, so... Um, but really quick. So, levels. <sighs> okay. Oh, I have a Celio? I forgot I evolved to feel. Um, so, while I really quick update my little thingy thing, what should I do? I have three rare candies. Who should I give them to? Celio, there you are. Come here. Uh, boost Curlia, actually. Ooh. Ooh. So my question is, is it worth it to boost Curlia right now when everybody else is so much more leveled? Just dump all three of them into her? Or... I also have PP up. HP up, which... Okay, so things I have to use right now, probably. Um, oh gosh. Okay, I have 20 super potions, two antidotes, two paralyzed heals. Curly of all is a 30. Oh, okay. Ether, X attack, revive, leaf stone, soothe bell. Okay, I have two HP ups to use. Who should I use them on? Uh, PP ups, which I don't know if I have the moves I want them to use on yet. Uh, Mystic water, sharp beak. Max revive. Okay, I have a single max revive. Fun. Okay, use Curlia. Okay. 
Wow, I have to go through each time? Alright. Curlia? Uh, more than that, you're fighting like high 30s, low 40s. Okay. Curly wants to learn Psychic. Yes. Instead of... Reflect. We are an attack only in this household. As far as moves are concerned. One more time. Okay, so now she's 27. Um, actually... It's meaningless to use that item. Interesting. Okay, so I can't raise the base stat for Umbreon any more than it is. I guess I'll use it on Curlia. Might as well boost her. But that's interesting. Okay. Um, Pokemon. Really quick. Curlia, what have you got? Um... Okay, she had the Twisted Spoon. Aridos has the Focus Man. Who the fuck has the... There you go, Celio had it. Item give. EXP uh, share. Item give. You had the focus band. And then Celio, item give. Swiss uh, Spoon Max Revive. Flying type moves. You might have water type moves. I don't remember. Uh, you have water gun. Cool. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. I'm sticking with my choices. All right. Yep. Oh. Said I'm sticking with my choices. There we go. Okay. 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 Let's do this. Pop. Oh. oh. Can I not go in? Can I not go in it directly? Fuck. Ah, who do I need to talk to to use it? Um, do I need to talk to Kamiko? Grandma, what's up? Mr. Varich has gone away. He left me with a gaping void when my heart once fluttered. What am I to live for now? There's no purpose to life without him. Please come back. Okay. Uh, talk to the dude running the machine shop. Okay. Okay. There we go. Yo, now big news. Real big news. Uh, that Robo Kyogre we've been telling you about is finally done. Once Grandpa's got uh, got down to it and got serious with it, he put together something kind of amazing. Come over here, guy. You have to listen to my grandpa. I will go listen to your grandpa. If you'll let me. Like Pear said, uh, we finally assembled the Robo Kyogre. It's truly a work of marvel. Hmm? What's wrong? Is anything the matter? I explained what's been happening. Well, I'll be. Cypher's headquarters is on Citadark Isle, and you intend to go there? Citadark Isle, huh? When it's on a place like that, it's no wonder nobody's found the Cypher base. The current around the isle is swift, and the weather's always storming. The place can't be approached by sea or air. Para, that was certainly true before. But now, however... I get a Grandpa the Robo Kyogre, right? Precisely, Para. Our Robo Kyogre will be able to reach the isle. Alright, must prepare and launch it for me. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. Hoomst. Crane. It sounds like you're going against a battle. Cypher is entertaining. There's something I would like you to have. Please come see me on the ground floor of the lab when you can. Okay. Professor Crane. Uh, here you are, over this way, towards the pier. That's Aurora Kyogre, doesn't it? It's blue form thrill you. It's all ready to go. You can leave whenever. Cool. I'll be back. I was going to say things. Oh, yeah. So working on the game, did that stuff. 
Bought women's jeans for the first time in a couple of years. Weird. I miss pockets so much, but the jeans are nice. Um, I'm gonna say it's this door, and if not, I'll go next door. Um, what else is new and exciting that I can fucking think of? There you are. Mm. Oh, I finished Critical World Campaign 2. That's nice, I'm already on like episode 14 of Campaign 3. Um, anyway. Hi Nell, I'm glad to see you're back. There's something I want to give to you, Nell. Could you come here? Sure. Oh. Did that startle you? Now come with me. The fuck, my guy? Over this way. Hey look, it's Alucard. What's up? The battle against Cypher appears to have entered a decisive phase. I think the situation calls for a special solution. There's something I'd like you to use. Go on, open that box, and take, swift, take what's inside. Oh, it's the Master Ball. Okay. That's a Master Ball. It's one of the Pokemon that's foolproof. A Pokeball that has foolproof. It has a 100% capture rate. You should only use it if you're sure it's the right thing to do. Keep at it. Cool. Alright, it's for Lugia. Okay. Not true, actually. Oh? What's the Master Ball for, then? If not for Lugia. What? Hello! Tea party! Oh, that's that's really cute, actually. I like that a lot. How are you doing? What were you playing? Thanks for stopping on in. How's your night going, guys? Gen 1 had a bug, shock right now, that could fuck up capture chances? Oh, shit, that's awful. I don't like that. You're just playing some Faz? Oh, nice. You know, I've never actually played Phasmophobia. Are you playing with, like, a group of friends? Or... Um... Oh. Thanks, Foxy. Where is... Ooh, gate and port. Fast, maneuverable, made of cardboard and tinfoil. <laughs> you want to see bombs. <laughs> I'm ready, Bryce. Nice. You hit that, don't we? Like Y'all know flying? what's popping. Um, yes. Hope you're having a lovely day. I am. Thanks, Yerp. Always better when you're here. I'm just... Oop, wrong one. I'm just trying to finish Pokemon. So. Because I'm right at the tail end. Shouldn't take too, too long, I think. You forgot the app? It still worked anyway, and it still popped up. Well, really? It's such a fun game. Yeah, I had a group with me. Nice. Yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly, I'm... Thank you for the follow. You didn't have to do that. Um, I am... My alerts aren't working. That's fun. Uh, I'm fucking terrified of uh, horror games, even if they're kind of cheesy. <laughs> so I'm, I'm real fucking bad at it. <laughs> like, really bad. The... The... My limit is, like, Little Nightmares 2. <laughs> I quite literally have a clip somewhere of me like needing to pause the game because I was gonna cry. Like that's that's how bad it got. Oh, uh, hey you, that thing you're riding on—it's kind of cool. I have this feeling I met you in a port somewhere, but I don't give a hoot about that. I do have a problem with Shimon shows up here without passage on our boat. Oh my lord, it's such a horrifying game. There's parts of it that I won't do myself that I force my friends to do for me. That is the reason friends exist to help you do things you don't want to do so but now i honestly like same uh fun fact that sailor by the boat fights gee i never never would have guessed foxy that that he fights never would have guessed uh thunder shock but yeah i'm just kind of chilling trying to finish pokemon I have some uh, leftover, some remains of my dinner from Taco Bell because I was like, I don't want to cook. I cooked earlier. No, this one I meant the one in front of it. Oh, I figured, honestly. I'm honestly, I think it's a safe bet to just assume that like literally everyone in this island is going to try and fight me, especially because it's the end of the game. The question is, is whether or not I can continue to fight and get to a, uh, thanks here, whether I can get to a, um, 
a healing point. So. Um. Oh gosh. What was I going to say though? Uh. You know, yeah, Bite's doing fine. Um. Oh, I meant to say this earlier. Fucking. I said it in Mooney's chat actually just before I went live. Uh. I can't believe Dragon Age actually dropped their, like, title name. And it has me both, like, excited and scared for E3, which I completely forgot about this year. Like, straight up. I was reading, um... I think I was, I was chatting with Avi earlier. Um, they have work tomorrow at, like, 4 a.m., so they can't fucking be here. But, uh... It is... Ridiculous. Uh... The amount of rumors that are spreading around right now because i looked there's so many fucking youtube videos with like obviously clickbaity titles but like and even twitter like just everything um everything is going haywire so i saw like a thing and it was like uh, talking about uh bethesda and stuff being leaked there and i looked at him like xbox oh my god and i like out loud on on call with avi i was like I forgot E3's in like a couple of days, probably. How did I forget that? Because every year I actually kind of watch it with my friends, pseudo. Like, we started watching it together back in college and like usually what ends up happening is we're in a group like chat and we're kind of all just like live tweeting to each other in chat, like our exact fucking reactions or someone um, is talking. Uh, whatchamacallit, or someone just decides to start up a, like, a uh, voice call. Someone told me it was cancelled. I don't know if it was cancelled, but I do know at the very least that there's gonna be an Xbox showcase. So I don't know if E3 itself is cancelled, but it's it's the time of year when all the announcements come out, so I'm assuming that they're not gonna completely cancel that. Also, I was not paying attention. It was one of the things I just killed a shadow up Oh no, both of these are. Motherfucker. Okay, you're a ghost type. Um... That's a normal type move. We're we're at endgame. If they live, they live. If they don't, they don't. And we're gonna go from there. Ooh. If you roll low, I might be able to nab you. I like Sableye. They're cute. Mega Sableye are also really fucking cute too. Like they have this like the little giant shield of the diamond or ruby. So. Yeah. But yeah, so at the very least, even if E3 itself is canceled, there's just gonna be a shit ton of announcements regardless about this time. So, cause I think Yeah, E3 is canceled, but publishers and developers are announcing their own showcases. Yeah. Cause didn't that happen last year as well? At about the same time, like E3 itself didn't happen, but everyone kind of had their own individual showcases. Because I remember with Bethesda having their own showcase, Xbox having a showcase, Nintendo does their um, their Nintendo Directs regardless. So, uh... mm. okay, I have twelve Ultra Balls. Yeah, that was for 2020. Okay. Uh, time fucking blurs together the last two years, man. And 2021, they had E3 and now it's canceled again. Yeah, because COVID's on the rise again. Because people are dumbasses and they don't take the proper precautions and we definitely opened up too early. But, you know. Life. Hmm. I just want to hear about Final Fantasy 16. I still have to play 15. I, hell, I still have to play fucking 7 Remake. I didn't wind up doing that. Um, all right, we're gonna see. If you survive this, I'll catch you. If you don't, you don't. Ooh. Yeah, I should be able to nab you. Because I think for FF7 Remake didn't recently, they also come out with uh, the extended stuff to it as well. I say recently, they came out like probably a year ago almost, or like a couple of months ago. It's okay, I think the end of the world is near. No. 
There are so many things I want to catch up on. <laughs> yeah, and I need to get a PS4 so I can get Final Fantasy VII Remake. Isn't it on uh, PC at this point? Intergrade, right? Or something like that? Final Fantasy VII Intergrade or Retrograde? Or... I think it's Intergrade. Because that was for the, the PC release, if I'm not mistaken. Yay! I got Sableye. The kid's tough. Well, FF Remake is literally just the very first part of the game. Like, it ends when you be leaving Midgar, is what I heard. Yeah, because it's a... Uh, they basically chaptered it. So, but they had an extended part as well, from what I remember with Yuffie, that came out in, at some point. Uh, darn it, I've got to report this. Items. Off to a great start. Already got to use some items. Um... Oh, I need, I need more than that, but I'll, I'll deal with this for now. Oop, Mirby is somewhere. Yeah, and I just beat God of War 4 re uh, recently. It was an amazing game. It was pretty fun. Um, God of War 4 was, which one was it actually? I watched all of the earlier ones we played and then I played God of War 2018 myself. It was 2018, right? I think it was. Huh? How'd you manage to get to the island? Let's fight. You rode that here? That's awesome. Even Mr. Varich, the world's richest man, doesn't have one of those. Oh, yeah, it's, it excites the sailor's sailing man's heart in me. Listen, how about letting me take a ride sometime? Yeah, sure. That's right. That's the spirit of the man of the sea. I don't know if this is much of a thanks, but I found this on the ship. Battle CD 31. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, 2018. Oh, okay, that is 2018. Gotcha, gotcha. Wait, what? Yeah, I guess I don't fight him. I, maybe you have to fight him if you say that he can't take a ride. <laughs> Fuck, I thought he fought. Maybe if you're a dick and you're like, no, you can't ride, that's when he fights you. I'm gonna assume I can't go up here. Yep. Time to go through the volcano. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. That's fine. I didn't need to use those items. Oh, well. I'm a little tempted to take the Sableye with me, though, but he's... Mm. You know what they say about making assumptions? Something, something, ass out of you and me. By the way, this is boss area one, I figured. He usually never leaves the Luxo Cruiser. Where's he off to in such a hurry? Oh, I know. You chased him off. <laughs> I'm just joking. want to race. Oh god. Chaser Fergie would like to battle. If I'm leveled relatively appropriately, how long do you think this will take, Boxy? So I, I was anticipating this not taking like super, super long. So, but I mean, I could, I've been wrong before. I really ought to check to see which is stronger, whether it's Thunder Punch or Thunder Shock. I forget. Uh, about two streams, possibly three. Oh man. I thought we were gonna finish it. You made it so uh, about an hour or so? That's helpful. <laughs> two different uh, answers. The final three bosses hit fucking hard. Okay. Who are the final three bosses? I'd assume one of them is a uh, is a uh, short guy. Are you talking about like his his red and blue um, companions being the other ones? Well, it really depends on how long you stream for it. Yeah, that's true. And the two aides and the short guy. Yeah, okay. Mr. Varric and then his two friends. I don't know his two bodyguards. I don't know what to call them. His son? They're his sons? Oh, that's weird. I don't like that. That's creepy. 
Also, <coughs> excuse me. Also, that's like Hitachi levels of like twins needing different appearances. Let's let's just you know dye our hair different colors. I'm sure that'll help people tell us apart. Let's see if I can't. The character designs in this game kind of scare me. Why? I kind of adore them, honestly. I also have like a healthy dose of nostalgia for this game and like, ooh, fuck you, Dodrio. Um, I have a healthy dose of nostalgia for this game and several others in this era and like PS2 era, so. What makes it funny is you can tell they're related because the suns are red and blue while the short guy wears purple. Oh, not color theory. Anything but the color theory. Surf! Fuck you. Oh, that's gonna hit hard. Maybe not. Maybe not. Color theory. Yeah. Color theory, man. Although, side note, color theory fucking sucks. I'm sure everybody has seen the- oh! Ooh, you're down to three health, honey. I know there's a weird uncanny look to them. A little bit. It depends on, uh, lucky for you to see, like, center, like, five steps, yeah. Um. Ooh, fuck. Well, Ampharos ain't, ain't getting any of this XP. Uh. There's a shit ton of, like, drawings where people are, like, Ah yes, let me let me have all of these uh, people here, and then they color them in, and they're like, "What's that? They're on a different background. It doesn't look the same." Fuck. So that's, honestly, it's, it's confusing as fuck. I hate coloring, man. I hate it with like a burning passion. If I could only ever draw in black and in like grayscale, I'd be so happy. But alas, it was not meant to be. Considering I'm a 3D artist, and I gotta fucking color things. What's color? It's pixie sticks. That's a candy I haven't had in a while. Okay, got Dodrio. Wasn't anticipating more Pokemon. Probably. Oh, not another Shadow Pokemon. Fuck. Umbreon might faint too. I really gotta pay attention to how many Pokemon people have in their fucking matches. Okay. Sure, you signal beam. Fuck it. Shadow down. What's that? I'm sorry, did you just catch that dude's Pokemon? Europe, have you never seen, uh the Pokemon from the GameCube era? Pokemon Coliseum and, and this one, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, it's direct sequel. So the whole premise is that those Pokemon with like the little purple borders for their um, for their fighting, uh, that I'm fighting, they had the doors to their hearts closed. Um, basically, they were artificially uh, artificially turned into very violent um, versions of themselves that can't control themselves and are being used currently for like nefarious purposes. Um, so I'm wearing a snag machine and it turns any of the Pokeballs into a snag ball and I pretty much just take them. <laughs> Pokemon X Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, a little. Oh my god. Raticate, fuck off. I kind of, I basically just steal them from the bad guys and rehabilitate them. So I don't have any on me currently, but when you have a shadow Pokemon um, in your party, you can kind of just either walk around, give them um, some uh, incense, or just use them in battle a lot. And eventually the door to their heart will be ready to open and you like purify them again. Uh, use quick attack. I thought Coliseum was just like a newer version of Stadium. Oh no, it's not. 
Um, I played it a while ago. I think the streams are still up on my YouTube if you want to go, like, check out the archived versions. I actually played the Brian back uh, in our first apartment in 2020. Um, but, God, that's so weird. Um, yeah, I think in, like, 2020. Uh, whatchamacallit. It's got a whole storyline. So... This one picks up where that one left off, um, like five-ish years later. The premise of the first one is that you're part of a game called Team Snagum, and you steal their snag machine. Um, and pretty much, they stole all of the wild Pokemon for their gang, and you kind of just go back. You start off with an uh, Umbreon and Espeon, and you kind of just go through the game, beating them. And uh, yeah. It's a weirdly personal kind of story, despite you being a silent protagonist. The only time you were ever a villain in a Pokemon game, exactly. And yeah, I moved to Cali in 2020. Fucking weird, right? I started streaming in August, September? No. I don't know, I started streaming in like, maybe September of 2020. August or September or something like that. And then I moved to um, Cali in October. Uh, you beat your Pokemon. Hmm? Use Thundershock. Wow, time really flies, that's crazy. Right? Right? It's fucking weird. It's weird, especially because effectively like what'll be two years ago I was still living in my parents basement like out of college so not fresh out of college because I was kind of stuck there for a little while I was like commuting to Manhattan and actually working for a year um but there you fucking go one year nine months It probably has a cooldown of like a couple seconds, Foxy. I'd assume it'd be a bit long. Uh, there you go. One year and six months. I was gonna say, I'd assume it'd be a little bit shorter maybe than, than Yerp, just because Yerp followed me from my cousin who started streaming just before I did. I think in August of 2020. Or my cousin's partner. Um, I never shout them out, actually. Does Kyler... God, is Kyler's Twitch all one word of Kyler saying? It's been a fucking while since I've seen them stream. Just because the time zone differences. It actually just pulls open things. If I could spell, that'd be great. They honestly haven't streamed in weeks. Yeah, I figured as much. They've been kind of fucking busy. Dude, do that. Yeah. They last streamed last month, I think. It's been real busy for them. Um, there. Right, don't laugh, otherwise you die. The one on right, my, the right is my cousin. Okay. You gotta give it a little bit of a curve. You gotta get right over here. Where are you going on? I think I can, you that's from a little while ago <laughs> for their makeup stream. Whoa, whoa, Herman whoa! This is, a, this is a family friendly stream. Like yeah, and Kyler's like, still getting like, used to uh, whoa, his new job since he's got like an hour and a half. I'm giving you the <laughs> wing! Oh, ah, yeah. man! I remember that commute. It's a little wiggly because like, uh, you keep not laughing. Because <laughs> I feel like you're doing here with eyeliner! <laughs> she doesn't know where eyeliner is. <laughs> Why do you do this? Stop laughing. Adorable. It's weird nice. to think they're engaged, and I knew them since they were dating. 
Whatever, it's a little janky as heck. Oh no. Oh, that's a big island. <laughs> Why is it down here? It was before they moved to the basement apartment, I think. I think so. It's smaller on my screen, so I wasn't quite sure. But yeah. Um, they've been super busy. I think Ellie actually opened commissions again not too, too long ago for all of her stuff. But uh, Kyler's been busy with the commute. When I used to work in Manhattan, I had a similar commute, to be honest. Um, because at the time, I would take the uh, Long Island Railroad, and I would take that for like 45 minutes into Manhattan, and then I would take, I would go from walking, depending. I would either walk from Penn down to where I used to work on Park in like 30, no, Park in 28th or something like that. It's a long fucking time ago. Um, so I'd either walk for like a half hour, give or take, after I got off. Or if I wanted to, um, I would take the, I would actually take the F line again, I think. Because when I worked in Brooklyn, I also took uh, effectively the same route. Because I would use uh, Herald Square quite often. But I, I mostly walked in the mornings because I was like, eh, I've got time. Slightly cheaper if I don't always have to get a, a subway ticket. I need to try and talk to them more. I miss them. I miss my cousin too. <laughs> yeah, and I can't uh, imagine trying to work in the city, especially when you live outside the city. I mean, it's not super bad. Is there no way through? This just a random ass room? Okay. That's kind of lame. Um, it's not super bad. Like, it's definitely, I've had worse commutes. Um, it was, it's, actually more annoying to get to Brooklyn funny funny enough through via train from Long Island so just because because of where it was there's no direct way okay that's why come here max elixir um can't go that way gotta go this way hey my guy we gonna fight I should be swabbing down Master Greville's Luxo Cruiser, but I'm completely lost. What's wrong with me? I've got to buck up and focus. Hey, kid, what do you say we battle? Yeah, sure. You're a big-hearted kid. I'll show you my respect and go all out. Uh, can you interact with the box in the bottom right? Uh, what do you mean? Was there a box? I might have missed it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I forget which one is stronger. I really had to check that after this battle. Okay, good. I was afraid Cursolo for a minute, was, or Corsolo was going to be ground for some reason. And that random room on the bottom right of the wall was colored differently. The wall was colored differently, and I tried interacting with it, but nothing happened. But I can certainly try again. Hmm. I forget if steel and electric are good, but let's try it. I know fire is good against it, but I forget. Curly Gird to 29, fuck yeah. I don't know if you can interact with things in the environment in the background of this game or not. Yes and no, it kind of depends. Most of the time, if it's something that you can interact with like on the ground, um, it's gonna be this weird sort of um, pulsing like white and blue translucent thing. Um, otherwise, you usually can't interact unless it's a door. But I can certainly try just because. Um, there's also like puzzle boxes and stuff too, but those are also usually pretty obvious. Fight, fight. She's body slam. It's fine. This is a game from like 2005, I want to say 2004, 2005. So for the GameCube. 
it's it's limited in some of its design. Honestly, the Pokemon Colosseum and XD are at like the top of my list of games that I would 110% like buy again if they decided to remaster them and like redo them. I would I'd be so fucking happy. I've on and off tried to like kind of redesign some of the world every once in a while, but like I haven't been motivated enough to finish it. So, cause I do adore like a lot of the designs in this game of the environments and everything, which is funny. Um, yeah, no, I don't think I can interact with anything. If you're talking about that, that green box right there, I did already interact, interact with it. Or I tried anyway. Cool. It does look like you should be able to like interact or move with something though. But yeah, no, there's nothing there. Uh, nothing there. I think I have to... Let's real quick actually. Boop. I think I basically have to swing around. Come on. Cool. The question is, is anybody gonna drop from the ceiling? No. Shockingly. It's just this dude. Huh? Maybe are you someone suspicious? I don't know. I'm a random child in this, like, gang hideout. What do you think? Sneasel and giraffe. Yeah, no one drops on this floor. Except for the one. Because, I mean, there was the one that dropped before. That shit starts after the elevator. Oh, of course. My bad. Ooh, beautiful. One hit. To be fair, that guy's completely optional. That's fair. I mean, I didn't know necessarily it was optional at the time. Ooh, great. And the Electra move's immediately going to go to Gold Bat. Love it. Oh, so close. Two one-hit KOs would have been phenomenal. All right. I was gonna say, did that even do any damage? But it did two points. <laughs> two points of damage. Also, I was trying to think. So I have this game going on. I'll see how far I can get with this tonight. Um, not gonna stream like super, super long because I, I do kind of want to, I'll probably stream for like the next hour or so and then probably raid out to Mooney because kind of want to play Overwatch with her and the ghosty. Um, I have Pokemon ongoing. Um, I have Pokemon, I have uh, Kingdom Hearts ongoing. <laughs> And with Avi, which also is like one stream away from being done for that bit. And then I have to play um, Remind, which I've never played before. And then I have, I have Okage ongoing as well. Um, but once I drop this one, I might, I might play Dragon Age. Cause I'm really, I'm really fucking feeling it, especially with the, uh, with the name of the new one being dropped. I'm really feeling it. And uh, y'all are gonna have to convince me not to romance the same like two romance options. Or the same three, I should say. I rotate between them. Ah, uh, no, don't learn mean luck. Home run. Oof. Good job, Foxy. Knocking it out of the park. You like Sneasel? Sneasel's cute. Curly is gonna evolve. The uh, 
his Hisuian, the whatever the uh, Poke uh, Art Legends Arceus one. That Sneasel is weird. They're like kind of weirdly tall, if I'm remembering right. I like Weavile too, not the Hisuian one though. Yeah. Woo! I have Gardevoir. Cool. Okay. Pokemon. Oh, Celia is level 37? I didn't even realize that. I'm going to stick with it on Gardevoir for now. It's probably for the best. You're going to be lurking? Thanks for the lurk here. Before I forget, fucking summary. Okay. No, fucking, come on. Come here. Okay, Thunder Punch does 75, Thunder Shock does 40. Okay, cool. Thunder Punch is stronger. I think it's Thunder that I was thinking of that's stronger than Thunder Punch. Because I think Raichu learned both of them in the last game that I played. Uh, Shield. Pokemon Shield. There we go. Do, 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 do. But yeah, so I think I'm playing Dragon Age. The question is, is when I do that, I have options. I have, or I have two options, I should say. One, I play through all of the Dragon Ages again, which means I play Dragon Age Origins, Awakening, um, Dragon Age Two, and oh my God, oh it's her, really? And uh, then I go to Inquisition. Oh, oh, you're so... You're so that little boy who ran off with Professor Crane. Yeah, I was reading that right. Weird. Because of what you did, Master Google was oh so angry. I made everyone miserable and it's all your fault. But it's okay now. We didn't need Professor Crane anyway. I just so needed to be serious. Just a little tiny bit to get Lugia's final adjustments just right. It is so perfect now. Purification will not work on it, ever. I'm so amazed because I am so a genius. Oh, you want to see my Lugia? Oh, sorry, that's not possible. Why? Because I'm so going to defeat you, little boy. Here I come. You fight the in uh, order of encounter. OK, that makes sense. Gorbis and Gardevoir. How many of these guys do I fight? Like two or three of them? So the PHTTD, the weird dude from Fennec, and then the uh, Angori electrician. Okay. So it was three of them total. Cool, cool. I wish I get Gorbis has weird, like, Shells for fins slash tits. Gardevoir flinched. That's rather the point. And then it's the two sons' bodyguards, and then finally Verge. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. And Verge, I assume, has Lugia. Also, this is the bit where I think I give up on catching Shadow Pokemon I don't like. Just because it takes me too long. Lugia, oh my god, plus the fucking bird? Seriously? Oh shit, that's gonna be obnoxious. Do I even have anything on me that counters Zapdos? Articuno, well, I guess they're all part flying, actually. Right? Are the birds flying types? Articuno's ice, I want to say. Oh, you yeah, know, definitely give up on catching the shadows here unless you're aiming for completion. No, I'm 
I'm gonna give up on on catching the ones that I don't care about. There, there's too many of them. I don't have enough Pokeballs. <gasps> Altaria. I love Altaria. It's so cute. Oh no! Fuck. Because they're also strong enough here that I almost kind of want to catch them for later battles, worst comes to worst. But I don't know if Altaria will be useful. It's dragon flying. Because it'd probably replace Ariados in my team. All the birds are flying. Okay. Oh, Ice Electric and Fire. Okay. There are definitely Pokemon that look like they should be a type that aren't actually dual typed and they're so single typed, so... I, I had a right to be like, if Altaria survives this, I'm going to try and catch it. That's honestly how it's going to work with the ones that I even care about. If they survive an attack, then I'll try and catch them. If not, they're just going to be XP for my Ampharos. Shadow Break. Oh yes, you mean like Psyduck and Gold not being Psychic? Exactly. Exactly like that. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, and you got paralyzed from that? Beautiful. If you survive this, I'll catch you. You might survive this. Oh, shit! Alright. I see how it is, Altaria. You really want to be on my team. That's fine with me. Please don't have a recoil on this attack. Oof. I should probably mention that Veritas uses exclusively shadows. The question is, is do I care about any of those shadows? Because if I don't... But yeah, because right now in my party I've got... Oh yeah, I can just look at the side. I've got... Fire, Psychic, Dark, Electric... Uh, water. So I should probably, as much as I love Ariados, I'm probably going to swap Ariados out for this Altaria. So that I have flying. So just like you, be glad little boy with Master Grivelinic, and Lugia make you pay. Because I think I should be able to give... Yeah, I should be able to... Hang on. Soleil. I should be able to give the XP share... No, actually, it wouldn't matter. Uh, Dark Electric, Fire Water, Ice Dragon, Flying with Altaria. Yeah. But in order for the moves to come back, I think I would need to purify it. But I think it would just get purified over time as I'm walking around. So it might actually be okay. Oh, hang on. Wait. Um... I need, I need, I need. Hang on. Pokemon. Aridos. Item. Uh, nope, not give. Item take. There we go. For their moves to come back, do they also need to gain XP? Because they don't level while they're shadows. So. Sableye was also what I was considering, too. Um, Sableye is just says blitz and hold. It'll almost certainly be purified considering how big this place is. Oh, geez. Move. Oh, come here. Oh my god. Shift. There we go. Sorry, Aridos. Goodbye. Um... Turns themselves into a pickle. And no, XP doesn't matter, just sending it out into battle. Calling it from hyper mode, walking around in the sense. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. I should double check. Yeah, you're full HP. Cool. Has Dragon Fang right now, which is pretty nice. And uh hang on. What's your what's your deal? What you got? Oh my god, okay. It's got three shadow moves. Ugh. And I don't think those are going to go away until after. That's annoying. 
I don't think I can purify them on the go. I think I have to, I have to flip back to agate, don't I? It might just be there to be a tank and take some hits. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, no, later in the, the shadow, the more S moves they have, yeah. Um, I think I remember this whirlpool. Uh, this is a proper research facility, sweetie. A little guy like you shouldn't be here. Mm, I don't care. Peon Bastille. Crowbat and Spiker. You can purify the PC thanks to the system. Oh, I can. I thought I couldn't though. I thought I thought I needed a uh, call it to do that. I needed to go back there. Scrobat is so creepy. Hey Jess, how you doing? Having a good night, I hope. I didn't realize you were streaming. The right time. No, they managed to port it to the PC system like halfway through. Oh, okay. In that case, yeah, maybe I might wind up doing that. What were you playing, Jess? Let's take out this guy. Mm, I can't, is that Elden Ring clip, I think? Mm -hmm. Hey, if you're ahead, that means, you got no head, that means you can't hear me. This is so cool. This. I'm financially stable enough to buy myself a new fucking mattress. Uh... Oh yeah, I think I forgot to say it by the way. Happy Pride Month? I don't really celebrate it to be honest. Honestly, mostly out of pure laziness. But I hope everyone who enjoys the month enjoys themselves and hopefully has a good time and is able to feel right about themselves this month. I know that it's important to a lot of people. But also don't feel pressured to like participate if you're not in a place that you can do so safely. Cause you know, they'll still be there. Shit, my computer was freezing so it rated while I wasn't looking. Oh, it's okay. Was it just freezing from the game? How you been? Hex, it's been a while. It has been a while. I've been okay. Just, you know, still hanging in there, still working, still managing to exist. Streaming's been kind of hard because it it requires being just social enough that uh, it's a little tough at times. Uh, Doctor, we can generate even bigger waves this way. Isn't that great? Sleeping on the job. Why do I feel like you're optional? We've got good waves going in today from the island that keeps the water others away. Isolated is how we want to stay. Cat. Cat. Yeah, Percy's asleep. Uh, you chilling back there. Ori and the Will-O-Wisps get my computer's butt the first time and then it behaved for five and a half hours today before throwing a tantrum. Oh shit. You know, I haven't played that. I meant to play Ori. And then it didn't happen. This is amazing because I'm kind of bypassing some of this shit. I just want to finish tomorrow so I can have a clean break for Monday's charity stream. Oh, nice. What charity are you streaming for? Uh, we're right in the middle of putting the finding, finishing touches on Shadow Pokemon Play. We don't need your meddling. Tough shit. I am going to meddle. Mm, electrode and mysterious. Okay. 
Honestly, not gonna lie, I've been pleasantly surprised at how well it's going for having Ampharos be in the front of the party at all times as well. I directly compare it uh, to DKC with how it had a nice first game and then the second with more of the same but also awesome, bigger and refined. Uh, I'm raising for Nami. Mind uh, saying what DKC and Nami is? Just because I'm horrible with acronyms when I'm not thinking of the appropriate thing. All thanks to that meddling kid and their stupid Pokemon. Maybe next time I should just call myself Scooby and save them the trouble. Oh, it'll be your first charity stream ever. That's pretty cool. I have not participated in any, but I appreciate people that can manage to do so because it usually requires a really fucking long stream. Oh, Donkey Kong Country. Okay. And the National Institute of Mental Health. That is a good charity. I wholeheartedly approve. Uh, what made you want to do the charity stream? Were you like invited? Was it something that you just wanted to do because of the month? I think Claydol's just a. It might be ghost ground, actually. Um, also, damn, I haven't thought about Donkey Kong Country in years. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did play it a little bit because I think it came out on the Switch. Oh shit, it's your birthday on the 6th? And happy birthday. I'd ask your age, but I think that's technically not allowed. Um, so happy redacted years old. Um, or, well, no, but it came out on the SNES, but uh, lately the, the Switch has been adding things to their little like online thing. So, and I figured, hell, I saw the other streamers. I love doing it. Might as well do it once. That's fair. Oh, uh, no worries. It's, um, whatchamacallit. So, uh, if you have Nintendo Switch Online, um, depending on the version that you have, you actually get access to their in-house um, emulators, basically, that run on the Switch. Um, and they have the... I think they, they have the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo 64. And I, I think they also have the, the NES. I forget because I don't actually play on all of them. It's been long enough that I, that I uh, haven't used it. I really only use lately the uh, N64 one because they also recently added Kirby and the Crystal Shards, which is one of my favorite games and something I was considering adding um, uh, considering or snagging when I went uh, back to my parents to um, pick up because I own it. Uh, I heard the Wii U library and the 3DS library was discontinued, which sucks. Oh yeah, it does. But if you're smart and clever, you can still access most games. So I know that uh, I've had the opportunity to back up certain games. Um, because people just happen to have tools, thankfully, to back up like their own discs and stuff. Um, and either I, they would just like loan them to me. Uh, let's send out Celo. And it's it is subscription based, but it's honestly pretty cheap. It's a yearly subscription. If you get the cheaper one, it's. I think it was 35 when I, because I used to have my own plan and now I'm on uh, Ryan's actually. Um, it's, hmm, let's do Earthquake for Kangaskhan. Oh shit, is it gonna affect Umbreon? I forget. We'll find out. Uh, good time to find out now. Uh, it's 35 for like eight people. So if you wanted to go in with a couple of friends, it's pretty fucking cheap. Um, I wound up switching and jumping onto his family plan because he had some extra room. And if you pay for the more expensive one, you get the Nintendo 64 emulator, which comes with like the upgraded tier. But also at the time we got it, um, uh, at the time he got it because of the, uh, fuck, what is it called? The DL, the Happy Home DLC for Animal Crossing. 
Also, computer lagged again. Umbreon is super cool. Umbreon is one of my top favorites. It is the third of my favorite Pokemon. The first being Raichu, the second being Wimpod. So, yeah. It also is why I'm, like, super jazzed about these games, too. Is because you, no matter what, you can have, like, an Umbreon as a starter. It's fucking great. Glaceon is your favorite evolution. A little surprising, honestly. Considering uh, Ninetales is one of your favorites as well. If I'm not mistaken, right? Oh? Because, I mean, the I assume you like foxes, so the more fox-like in appearance, you would think it'd be like Flareon. There we go. You love the Alolan Vulpix Ninetales? They are pretty cute, not gonna lie. There are some Alolan versions, though, that I'm just not a fan of. <laughs> Raichu. <laughs> um, nah, I like Flareon's Floof, but as a Pokemon, not really. Huh, okay. I can respect that. Of the evolutions, not including Umbreon and Espeon, Glace uh, Glaceon is actually one of my favorites, as well as Leafeon. I'm not as much of a fan as the older designs, weirdly enough. You like how they did Muck? Muck is pretty interesting, I gotta admit. And I think it's actually kind of a nice upgrade, considering uh, I'm not a fan of Muck in general. And the design of Muck is somehow worse than the literal garbage Pokemon. <laughs> Because it's just a blob of sludge. <laughs> At least Ditto has like a memorable face to it, and it's a when it's a blob. I'm just really annoyed at how they handled the shinies for the evolutions. Yeah, yeah. A lot of the evolution shinies are kind of, honestly, I'm not a huge fan of a lot of shinies, just because I don't think the color scheme works as well as some of the originals, like shiny um pichu pikachu and raichu they're just like more orange hued like colors and i'm not a huge fan of that i think uh for sun moon i had a muck for the main team so fun facts other than the gamecube games sun moon is actually my favorite pokemon or uh sun moon or ultra sun ultra moon they're i almost want to say they're kind of interchangeable there's just more plot to ultra versions, but there is kind of some differences with the characters and how they're treated. Uh, the job of research, uh, job of the research people is to conduct research, but that's not our job. To terrify people into the pit of despair through battling, that's our purpose. With that clear vision, we're not about to lose. Uh, OG Evolution, I preferred uh, Vaporeon and then Umbreon, but I, th I think that was it. The food that came after with Cupid. <laughs> I've made this ramp before, but my god, there's so much missed potential with their shiny collection uh, coloration. You can always have that rant again. I don't mind Foxy. Ninjask. I will still never get over the way you have to fucking catch a... Uh, Shedinja. Oh yeah, I meant to watch. I haven't seen it yet. The new Pokemon trailer. For, uh... Violet and Scarlet? Was it? All I know is I've, I've seen the designs of the new professors and everybody's been losing their fucking minds. Being like, oh no, the new professors, they were hot. Uh, you know, the terrorists are cheesy in Pokemon games, handling their wars with Pokemon, but at least it's not Yu-Gi-Oh! with their card games or riddles for the mobsters and Professor Layton. So, Espeon, make it white with an amber-colored stone. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. Uh, 
I mean, Yu-Gi-Oh's kind of fucked up, though. Let's let's not pretend here, though. Yu-Gi-Oh may have their card games, but also, like, Yami originally was like, I've got a gun and I'm not afraid to use it in the manga. And also the fact that they're like, yep, let's play this card game while we lock our ankles to this saw blade that's going to get closer and closer to cutting off our fucking legs as we lose life points. Like, don't pretend that that actually isn't terrifying. Because it absolutely is. Uh, so the new theme of Starbio is past versus future. Also, one of the legendaries is literally a dick. Okay. You know, I can kind of see that considering I think the... I think she, the, the female professor is for Scarlet and she has kind of almost like a weirdly caveman aesthetic and like fangs. Uh, but wait, wouldn't the blade send them to the Shadow Realm? Okay, listen. The Shadow Realm is hell. I hate to break it to you however many years later since you've seen it. <laughs> the female has an odd tribal aesthetic. Okay. Because I just remember it looking kind of like uh, like torn cloth, I think, for her design. I only like saw a couple of photos. And then people pointed out her fangs a lot. And they were like, oh my god, it's mommy and daddy. And I'm like, okay. You do, you guys. You enjoy that. Back to your rant. <laughs> Feel free. Ooh, the fuller stores are nice. Um, I can keep going. That's fine. Leafyon could have made a dark brown coat with orange leaves. I do remember talking about that and being like an autumn themed Leafeon would have been really fucking cool. Also, I was gonna say my other options, if I didn't wanna play whoops. If I didn't wanna play Dragon Age, is I could technically play Fallout. Um, Fallout 4 specifically, because New Vegas still isn't behaving. Egan. There's there's nothing there. Just said down with Cypher. Okay. Oh, there we go. Dear Nell, hello, this is my first email. I'm sorry I sent an empty message by mistake. Oh, that's so in character. I also apologize for the misspellings. I'm embarrassed by these mistakes and we... Oh, the email text is cut off. I love him. Vaporeon, why the fuck it was it? Is it pink? That was the joke. I know. I know it's the joke. I love it. It's too hot to approach. Oh, am I gonna flood this fucking area? God, I literally don't remember this section. Oh, that's... Splash? Concerning. Also, that means I probably should have done this. Or maybe I just cut off the lava flow. Yep, I cut off the lava flow. Go ahead and step on the giant metal crate in the lava. You know, because when, when you drop this down, the lava will just disappear and you can step on the hot ground instead. Your shoes wouldn't melt. Okay, so I have to drop that one from there, which I get to by going around. Because, you know, just lava flows that quickly. Actually, I don't know how quickly lava flows, thinking about this now. I don't think... It flows kind of fast, but not, like, a stupidly fast degree. I'm a little surprised there hasn't been, like, 20 enemies to attack me right now, by the way. Just, just a tad surprised. Plop. Ah, uh, that'll be the one I step on. Fun. Uh, why is it summer? Why? It's why summer and winter is the same. Can't see the UV rays. Oh, if you don't see fire, then it isn't hot. Yeah, that, that's how that works. Yep. You got me there. Let's grab you. Come on. 
white herbs. Come on. There we go. Oop, safe. Okay. Really quick, gonna check something. Altaria, how you doing? Ooh, not even at the first heart gauge. Okay. I know the bad guys need an evil volcano lair, but what I'd love to see is the inhabitants immune to the fumes and con uh, uh, convection, and the heroes need to make a fuck ton of preparations to invade it. I'm surprised nobody ever tried that. That'd be really interesting, honestly. I'd love to see that. Like, actually have them have a reason for being in the volcano other than just be spooky. Be like, yeah, they can just survive here. It's, it's why no one's, like, come after them before. It technically sort of works in this instance in terms of, like, being surrounded by the ocean because they're kind of doing that on purpose, which is why they haven't been stumbled upon. But, like, a volcano would be an interesting, like, reasoning. Because this could have just been an island, like, without the volcano. Hmm... We're gonna swap. Uh, you can make a whole game story just to get ready to raid. You really could. It'd be pretty cool. 10 out of 10. If you make it, I'll play it. Okay. Sunny day. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. Fire moves get stronger. Hello. Ooh, rude. Sunlight above is strong. Fight, fight, Houndoom. Fight, water gun, Houndoom. Flarian, come on, man. All you did was make the fucking thing slightly lighter. You couldn't have made it blue to signify hotter flames or something. You'll make it in your next Nano Remo. Got you. You know, I've never participated in that. Kudos to being able to participate in that. It's a, it's a fucking lot. It took me forever just to write the fucking... I, I think it's at 90k? It took me, like, a few years. Like, since 2018 to get to that point. I have a world that's entirely night and cold in one half and volcanoes on half the other. The two are at war. So, Chess, do you watch One Piece or read it? <laughs> Out of curiosity. Because <laughs> it sounds a lot like Punk Hazard. <laughs> and if you don't know what that is, I'll explain. But I'm just curious. Hey, I still have to get off my ass and write a chapter for tomorrow's group. Oh, damn. Jolteon, why the fuck is it pew green? You couldn't have given it, like, an odd purple tint? Okay, more like Punk Hazard. Punk Hazard is like the Hailfire Peaks. Gotcha. I like how this is super effective and it barely does anything. Come on. I know it's not very effective. I'm still in the middle of Wano, but stupid Facebook ads spoil the recent chapters. Any thanks for that? I gotta read the newest chapter. Do you know the latest plot? I think I'm a chapter behind, probably. So. But yeah, for the most part, I know. So, because usually it's up on like Friday. Anywhere from Friday to Sunday is when I catch up on things, when I remember that, oh yeah, I read two uh, things weekly. So you probably know Wano's coming to a close with lava. Yeah, I do. Um, didn't remember the lava bit, not gonna lie, but I do remember that, uh, I do remember that, um, it is coming to a close, sort of. This game needs a remake of Bayaconic, right? Reaper? I have said that so many times. I've said that tonight, actually, that it needs a remake. I would, this game, plus Colosseum, 10 out of 10, insta-buy. I don't even care to, like, I would actually pre-order it. I haven't pre-ordered a game in literal years, and I would gladly pre-order it. Your favorite Pokemon game of all time. Nice. It's one of mine as well. Um, prevents the target from using moves known by the user. Eh, I don't care. Uh, 
Uh, I might be misinterpreting the panels I keep seeing over and over. I mean, you could. You might not, though. Who knows? But anyway, how you doing tonight, uh... How you doing tonight, Reaper? You having a good night? Or day? I do not remember your time zone if you've even spoken here before. Or if you've spoken here in a while, you haven't said it. Um, bite, fight, Morgan, Nine Tails. Oh, fuck you, Nine Tails. Uh, I'm gonna have to swing back for the. I'm gonna have to swing back for the healing stand. You're good just playing Outriders. You know, I haven't played that. How is it? Also, I'm getting into Soma Spider Soa, and the story might be the only Isaka story I'll read. I have that on my list, actually, to watch. I meant to do that. I've got, uh, honestly, I read a lot of isekais, but uh, two of my, three of my favorites have anime adaptations, one of which is sadly horror. Um, but uh, I enjoy Shield Hero a lot, not gonna lie. I wish it wasn't as, Best way I can say it is I wish it wasn't as harem-y. Like, honestly. That, that's the easiest way to say that. Um, and then... I also really like uh, Slime Hero. Uh, that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Pretty solid. Very, very wholesome. It makes me feel real nice, honestly. And also, I recently started reading one that was pretty good as well that I'm forgetting the title of. The anime I was thinking of was... Uh, it's kind of Furby though, is uh, No Game No Life. Love it. No Game No Life, legitimately one of my favorite isekais, despite the weird adopted sibling thing. Um, might check out the slime one. It's really good. It's got two anime, two? Yeah, two anime seasons that are both pretty solid. <laughs> and then for your last one, Sylvia, I'm not entirely sure what to say about this one, considering it's A, the trans flag, and B, a fairy. Do you have any idea how hard it is to color a fairy that doesn't come out with another element? Um, but what's with that everybody dying and then reincarnating? <laughs> Easiest way to transfer people so that that way they don't necessarily have a reason to go back. So, like, uh, not super spoilers, but like, Slime Hero, he kind of accepts that he's never going back and decides to make the best of it. And that's what, like, causes him to stick around and, like, actively work on improving everything. Having them trapped in another realm means that they, might, that they might possibly leave. And then that kind of pigeonholes them into a certain type of plot. So that's, a, ooh, not that one. That's at least my best guess. There are a couple of other pretty good ones though. Um, I think there's one called, I think it was called Grimgar. I haven't seen it in a few years. It was really fucked up. It was like an isekai, but with like a, a traveling group. And the group, like, was at, like, level one. Like, they needed to level up. Uh, it was not pretty. They did not have everybody live. It's really good. And then there was also another one that I, I started reading, actually, because I saw, like, a, I saw a panel or two of the manga on TikTok, and I was like, you know what? Sure, I'll give it a shot. It was... God, I'm trying to remember what it was. Uh, one of the games I'm looking forward to, I'm going to catch a lot of flack for buying, but it's my dream game and I can't say no to buying it. Oh, Destiny 2? Or, sorry. Honestly, better than Destiny 2. Okay. What's the, uh... Wait, gory 10 out of 10 is for Outriders, yeah. And better than Destiny 2. And then one of your dream games. Is the dream game you're saying Outriders? Or is it another game you're, you're going to talk about? Um, first uh, one I've heard of. Oh, Hogwarts Legacy. I can't blame you. I want to try it. I want to see if it's good. I'm hoping it's good. Like, I can't blame you for that. Uh, the first uh, I've heard of one, I don't think it was an RPG, but it had a Hikikomori killed by a car saving a child, and he was reborn as a European kid in, like, the medieval setting. Hmm... I'm trying to remember which one that is, but I don't really remember. There was another one that was really weird, which is a uh, Tanya of the Saga of Evil, where it was like a, a, an atheist accountant dude 
that got reborn into a magical like world as a small child girl um and he basically like becomes evil so you know it's pretty honestly it's not bad um but i'm trying to remember what the fuck the isekai is uh, i didn't realize i pasted glaceon and Numbrion in moody's chat <laughs> oh no <laughs> Uh, based on, again, all you did was make it lighter. You couldn't have had the palettes uh, swapped and it would have been fine. <laughs> uh, like, I get to play as me in Hogwarts as a Hufflepuff and I can't say no to that. I mean, I don't blame you. Like, I honestly am hoping it's good because I really, really do want to be me. And realistically, every quiz says ever that I'm a Gryffindor, so you know. I don't bring up Harry Potter out of consideration for the bad impact she has on people, but it's weird to have the much more toxic Lovecraft being more accepted than Rowling. So it's a difficult thing because the thing is, is Lovecraft is dead. So any of his views that have been said are known and can't really surprise people at this point. Um, depending, like no nothing new can come of it. People just, they can learn this and know it and acknowledge that. Um, Rowling, however, is alive, so there's a live person to take out anger on, is the biggest difference between the two. Um, but Phantom has a weird dilemma of not accepting the, the fact that if they want to continue liking a thing, um, yeah, I didn't remember the mass murder thing. Um, Phantom has this weird thing of either not wanting, of wanting to continue to like a franchise, but not being okay with the creators of it potentially being bad, which is weird because a lot of creators of a lot of things are kind of awful, like in all honesty. Like, I don't think there's a single thing that you can name, a single franchise, a single, um, a single story that wasn't at least touched in some part by someone with views that counter your own like for good or bad so you kind of if you want to continue to like a series you just kind of have to accept that and kind of like draw a line of where your morals are of what you're going to pay for versus what you're uh not going to and if you're going to engage in fandom or not it's weird i'll say this a benefit is too much from reading harry potter as a kid to turn around and tell other kids not to read it yeah so that's kind of also some of it too. It's like you have an attachment to it for a good reason. Because you have a whole lot of nostalgia and because it helped you personally. Um, not defending Rowling, but the Wizarding World belongs to the fans now. That's just my opinion. I just really hope the games are good because Rowling had nothing to do with the game other than the setting. Yeah, I mean, that's also something too, is Harry Potter is a large enough, a large enough franchise that it's really... Like, some of it gets her final say, but the creators of most of the things in it have completely different visions than, like, hers. And the creative minds behind it, I think, have a lot of interesting things to contribute to, like, the series itself. Um, and Murder by Proxy. What you mean, Foxy? Uh, it'll Yeah, it'll get easier as time goes on and she fades into the background. I mean, look at uh, Tolkien. Tolkien didn't always hold the best views either from what I remember and from what I understand. But he, like, ow, oh, I didn't even need to go back. It was right fucking here. Um, but, like, people still love his work and still, like, enjoy it. Although some people are upset because in, in the reverse where all of these things that are new for Harry Potter at least, are adding to a beloved franchise and like, still really quality. Um, the people in, in charge of Lord of the Rings and shit are making subpar things. <laughs> a lot of subpar, th I fucking hate The Hobbit. Uh, like you can tell this game is made with love and care by fans wanting to bet at the world, exactly. That's what I mean by like, a lot of the creative minds behind it are have a lot to contribute and they have like a lot that they want to say while using it as a medium um and you love uh, facebook suggestions where uh it has the wacky headcanons of the marauders being dumbasses yeah 
That's cute. I think there's a sub fandom that has uh, trans positive head cannons. Oh yeah, there's there's that for every fandom. Uh, she contributes to politicians and organizations who can and will kill trans folk without any hesitation. I mean, the same can be said though of like Donald Trump and like a bunch of other um, celebrities and figures. A lot of people just take it in the same way as like Scott Cawthon because it's connected to a beloved franchise of yours it makes people it makes that all the much more personal and all the much more easy to anger people with it um be ashamed to beat someone like you but this is for the good chance to score some points i think the same can be said about 90 percent of politicians exactly it's because of that connection that it feels more like a betrayal than if it was just some random politician uh advocating for something horrible. And I mean, the point of, with the uh, sub fandom having trans positive headcanons, that's something that just in general people, uh, whatchamacallit, people project onto their favorite series, what they, what they want, what they see in themselves, and that's just what fandom does. And it's honestly really nice a lot of the times because people can see themselves in characters and and participate in the way that they kind of want, as long as they're not like hurting anybody else and being like, no, your thing is wrong because I said so. It's like, mm, maybe let people have their fun, but you know. I don't vote with GOP, everything else is just a chess move and a losing game. Everything in politics is a chess game and lose. everybody's always losing all the time. I fucking hate so much politics. Uh, like anyone who takes money from the NRA has every mass shooting's blood on their hands. Yeah. Oh boy. Harsh topics right now. But back to that. Um, to swing back to a slightly lighter thing. Ever so slightly. Um, with you being excited for the Harry Potter, um, Hogwarts Legacy. I'm kind of excited for the phone game one that's coming out at some point in the near future because I really, really like the art style of it. Like, a lot. <laughs> and I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as the Jam City one that came out a while ago. Um, but in your comments of fandom, Harry Potter and the Wizarding World will be around long after Rowling. Just, Rowling's gone, just like Tolkien and Lovecraft, yeah. Uh, I think there's the newest trope of trans-affirming magic setting where a supernatural element confirms the user's gender. Interesting. How so? Like, what have people been saying? Hey, Mr. G, how you doing? I get to do this thingy. Ooh. Magic Waken, yeah, that's it. Oh, it didn't do the shout out half of that, I don't think. Hi, friend, how goes your adventures? It goes good. I'm trying to get through, I'm trying to get through. I'm at like the very last level. Oh, and uh, considering how his magic is heavily tied to the sex they're born with. Was it? Hold on, I'll find the article, but Neil Gaiman had an example in Sandman. God, it's been ages. Oh, you wonder what Robert Jordan would think. I have, God, I haven't read Sandman in such a long time. Yeah, I realize in the Wheel of Time series, I missed a comment because I did the thing. But how's your night going, Mr. G? What you up to? Uh, they need to release that soon. Hopefully not close to Legacy. That would kill people's time and probably pick a AAA game over the mobile, mobile title. I mean, yeah. They've been... It's weird because it's been like said that they were going to release it for a while now. And I think COVID probably pushed them back a bit. But also they've been at this weird, like, we're gonna release. And they've been sending out a shit ton of emails um, being like, we're we're at this point, you're gonna get all these extra things for pre-registering. It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm pre-registered. That's why I'm getting the email. <laughs> you had your first IRL job shift since 2019? Oh shit, I am so sorry. <laughs> That's rough. Can I ask what, uh, what kind of shift it was? Like for what kind of a job? Nothing too specific. And if not, that's, you don't have to talk about it, no worries. Um, uh, use bison. 
I think I could accept Jordan keeping the story on track if he wrote he wasn't transphobic, but more like he didn't think of it. Yeah, that's something too, that like, there's always things that people think about that that just don't come to the creators of media just because it's not something that they experience. Gabe, how you doing? I'm seeing all my friends tonight. Oh, you've been in pre-register since it was available? Yeah, the art style looks so cool, right? Like, it's weird how I've done like kind of a 180 on mobile games as the years have gone on because a lot of them have been like, honestly, really quality and have had some really interesting art styles. Like, um, some of my favorite games in most recent years have been Genshin Impact for all the controversy surrounding them. And I've spent hundreds of hours in it uh, for the last two years. And, uh, um, whatchamacallit? Uh, 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 the Arcana. The, um, the Viz Novel game. Like, that one is, is really fucking good. I love it so much. Bartender at a nightclub, so right back to reading lips and making cocktails quickly. That sounds exhausting. I am so sorry. I hope it goes well for you in the future, though. Like, I hope everything goes okay. Um, supernaturally validated trans person is the new trope. I approve. Um, oh, Nier Reincarnation is pretty cool, too. Nier, in general, has a lot of really cool art styles. Um, so in Sandman, there was a point where a trans woman wasn't recognized as female by a moon spirit, but in the afterlife, she had the body she wanted. Okay, interesting. How's Pokemon uh, laughter going? Pokemon's going good. It is getting there. It is getting there. Okay, dear Nell, I hope you are well. I wrote you a haiku poem. If Team Snagum goons cause trouble in the desert, go and sandbag them. I'm just gonna not. Anyway, I did just say it, Foxy. I think I'm in caught flack for the moon thing, but the gods before weren't really sensitive to others. Uh, Nier also does have some gorgeous fucking music. It really does. Oh good, hyper potions. Exactly what I need. Uh near uh a tomato has a great OST. It does. There are some really fucking good OSTs out there for games. Oh my god. I was actually at the early beginning of stream, I was actually playing um whatchamacallit? Um Good for Bell, Bad for Education from uh Valhalla. I love that song so much. I have been on the wait list for the, um, I've been on the wait list for the vinyl in, uh, I think Fangamer's um, store for ages. Like as it is, I managed to snag Stardew. So I've got, I've got, um, or no, sorry. I didn't snag Stardew, I was tempted to. I snagged uh, Undertale, I mean. So I've, I've just been slowly like getting into vinyls and I'm like, shit, I didn't intend for this. I already collect figures, like, God damn it. So, but, uh, cause I got recently, I actually got, I got Daft Punk's like 25th anniversary vinyl. I was so fucking happy I managed to snag it. Um, oh shit, camera up just ground, isn't it? Uh, the Valhalla OST is so good. Never finished the game, but the OST is non-stop rotation for me. Yeah, same. Uh, there's a new game that has an anime style called Erin Knights I want to, uh, take off to. I think I've heard of that. If my charity stream reaches the goal I have, Stardew Valley is the prize. Oh shit, nice. Stardew is so good. Um, we're gonna swap and get rid of the muck first. Uh, everything else is horror games is a joke. Like what horror games, Jess? And is it like Stardew for you to play? Or like what, to give out? Like what you doing? I'm assuming it's to play, but I figured I'd ask anyway. I fucking love Stardew though. Okay, what are some of your fave underrated game OSTs? First one that comes to mind. Mmm, that's tough. That's actually real tough. 
Because I'm trying to think of underrated. I'm not gonna lie, right now, the only game OSTs that I can think of, because I have a playlist of them, um, and it's not, it's not underrated because it's known that they're really fucking good, um, is, uh, um, the, the OST for Pyre. So, although, I guess Pyre could be underrated. It's Dinner and Corb, so, like, uh, Bastion, um, Transistor, Pyre, and Hades, all the same composer. Um, mostly the same, like, music, like, singers as well. Um, but Pyre was one of their more underrated games, but I fucking love Pyre so much. Um, my favorite is actually Knights of the Sea, from the song from it. Um, Persona 5 OST is so good. It's so good. Um, Rivers in the, in the Desert is one of my favorites that I, that I've, uh, ever heard, I think. Uh, for voting, I vote for you to play the FNAF Trilogy, Carrion, Resident Evil 4, Benny the Ink Machine, Outlast Plus DLC, and Bioshock. Well, let me know if you play Bioshock, because I've never beaten it, because <laughs> I hate horror games. Um, Bomberman 64, the second tack, uh, if I throw one out there, uh, Yasunori Mitsuda was on it, and it has uh, some awesome soundtracks. If we're talking underrated games, there's also like Jet Set Radio, which has a fucking phenomenal soundtrack as well. Um, and if we're doing that, Hover actually also has a pretty decent soundtrack as well, because it uh, it's composed by the uh, uh, same composer. Um, plus one other possible suggestion, but they only get three choices. Pirates OSG is phenomenal. I've heard of it is amazing. Darren Corp does rule. He's so good. Can you fucking die already, please? Uh, at three quarters goal, I'll play Don't Starve Adventure Mode, and then I play Stardew. Gotcha. I'm so- I haven't played- So I haven't played Don't Starve since I played Don't Starve Together at a friend's house. We made it to like day 20, and then the one friend who we were like, we'll resurrect you soon, decided to haunt our stuff, set it on fire, and destroyed our camp. We got very upset, and have not played since. Uh, I played watch the other ones uh, up for a vote, but I want to give something else popular. Gotcha. You love Bioshock? Jet Set Radio. Again, I gotta play Missing JJ Macfield. I haven't heard of that one. Which one's that? Okay, here's the real shit most underrated OST of all time. Rocket, Robot on Wheels, N64 Platformer by Sucker Punch. And the OST is so moody and strange and cool. Ooh. Well, I mean, if we're gonna do that, I fucking love Okage's soundtrack. Which I've been playing as well. Okage Shadow King for the PS2. That has some really fucking good songs on it. Why is my CeeLo so weak? I hate this. Um, I have an underrated overshadow game if I may contribute. Of course, feel free. Uh, I played it before and said it would be on VOD for a while. I think it's gone now. Okay. Uh, what I've heard from you play Okage has been great. Oops. Shit, you can't... Ju then don't just pick one. Just talk about some really good, like underplayed games that you have uh, that you know of, or just good OSTs. Actually, it's not a game, but I actually recently got the OST in full for, uh, um, fuck. My brain is not happy today. Wow, I can just remember the characters' names right now. Fucking, uh, Oban Star Racers, because I donated to the Kickstarter, um, you know what, let's... Quick attack. Um, I donated to the Kickstarter a little while ago, and they actually sent out some of the backer rewards. So I got the whole OST from from the animated show, and it's so good. It's so good. Um, uh, Rogue Galaxy. Okay. I think Legend of Dragoon has some kick-ass music and Castle Crashers. I haven't played that in so long. Ooh, what really good too, I remember it just because it I played it all the time, like the same time era. Um, the Scott Pilgrim video game has a really good soundtrack too. I have it on the Xbox 360 Arcade. I can't remember much of Rogue Galaxy's OST, unfortunately the game didn't click with me, but I love the aesthetic of it. I don't remember the OST either. 
I should definitely pick it up and see if I don't like it, or see if I like it. When I used to do fan comic, I knew I wanted to uh, tease its music for cartoon openings. I did one, but the rest was like, I'm tired. Still, 300 pages of the comic is pretty good. That is good. God damn. That's really fucking good, Jess. Hell, I consider a fucking four panel comic fucking difficult as shit. Oh my god. Come on. Thank you. I burned out hardcore though and could barely get any energy to draw, plus it was getting less rewarding. That's entirely fair. It's a little bit why uh, my fic has been on hold for as long as it has been. Because I'm, I'm burned out on like tr trying to power through an arc that I don't terribly like. So I, in I entirely feel that. Uh, where did I come from? I came from here. Let's go heal. A popular enough game, I think, that deserves more credit. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is a top five OST of all time. It's unique, contains so much emotional variety, and feels like it really tailors its sound to the game's scenarios. Oh yeah, my first only fiction was trying to do Silent t uh, Hill 2. Uh, I have two, two fanfics. Uh, this is probably the only time you'll hear me give more specifics on one of them. Um, one of them that I don't usually ever talk about is Boku no Hero fic. Um, and the other is a gargantuan One Piece fic that I've been working on that's like 90k and I want to continue it but I'm like struggling through an arc right now I'm not even at Alabasta, I'm in Drum Island <laughs> okay, speaking of Wano's coming to, finally coming to an end we were actually talking about that earlier <laughs> funny enough um, we were talking about that I think because yeah, it was uh, an errant Facebook ad that we had been talking about um, that accidentally spoiled some stuff for some people. Yeah, Facebook spoiled the ending. I'm ready for One Piece to be not that anymore. Oh yeah, same. Same. It is so fucking tiring. You know, the Hitman series has some really good music, surprisingly. I can see that. I haven't played Hitman myself much, but I do know some of it, just because I have enough friends that play it. Honestly, there's so many good games with, like, good OSTs. Some of the Digimon games actually have pretty solid OSTs as well. Um, I really... God, I gotta play it again. Uh, Digimon Cyber Sleuth. Really fucking good game. Lot, lot of grinding. Lot of grinding. Especially if you want, like, your favorite Digimon, you are going to be grinding for literal hours. It's the <laughs> worst. But, uh... Yeah. I'm glad I'm late to Wano. I read it piecemeal, so I'm refreshed. I read it online, but I'm cursed to get a virus every time I try. Or I'd read it online. I feel that. I, uh... I've been caught up with One Piece since... The... Summer of what year did I graduate? The summer of 2016, I'm gonna say, because I think that's the year I decided to catch up on One Piece. Because I I caught up on the manga and then I gave it my my best to uh, try and yeah I caught up on the manga and then I gave it my best to try and catch up on the anime and I did catch up on the anime. Now I'm behind on the anime because I have not watched it in months. Uh, I hated JRPGs and played Persona 5 and now I can't get enough. I played uh, Persona 5 and now I'm a big fan of Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy. Fuck yeah. Um, impressive, honestly, that you went from Persona 5 to Kingdom Hearts. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. That's a real big jump. I love Kingdom Hearts and I hate Kingdom Hearts sometimes. Like, it is, it is a complex fucking game. So kudos to you, honestly. Have you played Persona 5 Royal? Um, it definitely adds to the experience and it adds quite a bit more, especially if you want like more of Akachi, because he's a full on route in, in Royal, um, depending on how you play it. It's really nice, honestly. 
Um, I've been caught up with One Piece since around the resolution of Luffy versus Luchi. Okay. Final Fantasy VI and Nine for Life. Oh, man. Persona 5 is remarkably well balanced. Yeah, absolutely. I still need to play three, which I pre ordered but haven't opened yet. Um, three. You mean uh, Final Fantasy 3? And yeah, I platinumed Royal and I'm platinuming Strikers right now. I fucking haven't played Strikers yet. I still have to buy it. <laughs> There's so many. Oh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Okay. There's been a lot of, like, multi game series right now that's in chat. Um, yeah. I, I get you. Holy shit, I made a 69 joke and I didn't even know. Did you? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Final Fantasy 6 and 9. You platinumed Royal the regular and just started Strikers. God damn. That is so impressive. I don't know if I've ever platinumed a game. Not gonna lie, I can't check right now, considering the cable that I use for my, uh, my GameCube is, is connected in, uh, is from my PS4, so I can't, like, pop it in quick and check. Okay, another underrated game OST, Hylix 2, recent-ish indie game, and the soundtrack is just all really good psychedelic rock molded to the game's surreal drugged out tone. That's cool. Uh, I'm a fan of Psychonauts 2, their OST, real fucking good, real fucking good, that's not an indie game. It was a pretty big game, but, you know, I'm still a fan. But I was remembering it because one of their more underrated games that I don't necessarily like for the game is Brutal Legend that had a pretty kick-ass soundtrack. I have a really old game I liked back in the day, uh, Primal. Oh, man. I haven't thought about that in a while. And Psychonauts 2 does have some of those games. I'm, like, looking over at my, uh... You know, it has a really good soundtrack. Clearly, it's a Dance Dance Revolution remix, too. <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, ignore my joke. Um, for individual trackers, the theme plays Valhalla right when you start, and the character's department is so chill. Oh, yeah, it's so good. Although, from Valhalla, my favorite is, um, is bad, good for health, bad for education. Oh, yeah, not just for the Akira reference. Um, oh yeah, the Brutal Legend OST is amazing. As a hardcore metalhead, they have some damn good cuts. Maybe too light on the Doom and Death Metal, but otherwise there's some weirdly deep picks. Oh yeah. It helps that the first game I streamed and was proud of and use it for my dear back screen but slowed down. That's really cute. I like that, Jess. I like that a lot. I didn't know that. I still have to finish it. I got pretty decently far and then I, I didn't have the attention span to pay enough the attention it deserves, so I was like, I'll come back to this. After listening to uh, Whitley's theme by itself, does show how insane he went. I figured, or, you mean Wheatley? Yeah, Portal 2. I honestly instantly knew what you were saying when you said Wheatley, weirdly enough. God, Portal 2 is also so good. I haven't played that in a while. I was replaying it because I originally had it on the... Uh, I originally had it on the 360, and I was replaying it not too long ago. I forget, did you play Valhalla? It's what I was just talking about before. Um, Good for Health, Bad for Education is on Valhalla's OST, and it's one of the vinyls I wanted to get. Um, uh, VA Hall 1A is, I'm assuming, which one you're talking about. Um, yes, heal. When you say Kingdom Hearts complex, I thought at first, but it uh, stuck it out and I fell in love. And you want to talk about complex game? Try Last Remnant. Oh my god. I love the game, but I feel like uh, the game put Dorothy in there to torture me. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> oh god, my throat. Alright, so, sadly, I am not going to finish this tonight. Because <laughs> I do think I have more than I intended.